Good morning, everyone. Uh, today we are going to talk about the latest lang large language models that is making their headlines. Uh, that is the Falcon by TII Technology Innovation that is based out of Abu Dhabi in United Arab Emirates. These are a really new player uh, in the market. It is Technology Innovation Institute. Re recently, uh, last week, they have launched with the biggest uh, large language model that is called Falcon. Falcon is very special for UAE. It is a nat na national bird. And even in Expo 2020, they had uh, made their pavilion in the shape of Falcon. So what is so special in this Falcon large language models and why is it making the headlines? The first reason is because it is in the leaderboard of Hugging Face at the, as the best pa uh, large language model according to the uh, parameters, tests that are there on some of the uh, uh, issues and uh, problem statements that are there which I'm going to talk later when I share my screen and the biggest thing uh, is that it has 40 billion parameters trained on 1 trillion tokens which is the biggest one that is there I will go in more details when I share my screen and uh, the there is this model is customized uh, model it is not like open AI uh, models that are available gpt4 and the latest one that is there it is a little bit uh, unique in that sense and today i am going to talk about this uh, falcon large language model about the how technology innovation institute has released this uh, as an open source for developers and data scientists like us to use uh, this in a very uh, good use case scenarios how we can use these models available uh, and it is freely given to the public but the only issue is there it requires a lot of large gpu to process which is not possible for individuals so we need i will talk more about that as well how you can take power of these things and uh, uh, we first we have to uh, understand that this is a, a very, very a new model and uh, I had done some research about this and I wanted to share with my community about the same. So let me uh, share my screen and talk about uh, the, the model, the details of this model. So as I am on the Falcon uh, LLM's uh, web page and it is telling me all the information that is there it has uh, first of all it has uh, what is the main thing that we are talking about this as i wanted to just show you the leaderboard uh, these leaderboards keep changing and for a large la long time we had uh, lam uh, lambda as the uh, leaderboard but after the release of this beautiful model the the llama the, sorry not llama llama was the number one for a long time but after the release of uh, falcon by tii uae now it has come in the in the number one uh, position and it is a government backed uh, research center which i also was personally involved for a few projects and uh, it is uh, in very innovative and how they have taken uh, it is they have taken uh, there are a few how what are the rankings how are they doing the benchmark of this in this leaderboard is this is from hugging face which is an open source and uh, uh, the benchmark we evaluate model on four key benchmark uh, parameters so and this benchmark is actually not so relevant to individual users like us but just for a uh, ranking methodology to keep it uh, very systematic they are using uh, this four uh, key bench rank from eleuther ai uh, model evaluation uh, framework that you can have a look in details i don't want to go and talk about this the the first one is the a a1 to reasoning challenge how they are giving 25 questions uh, of uh, grade school science to analyze and see the output the, how accurate it is hela swing that is 10 shot M uh, a test of common sense interface mmlu test to measure text models multitask accuracy and truthful uh, qa a benchmark to measure whether a lang lang uh, language model is truthful in generating answers to questions so these are the four parameters that you can see are really important for them to give this benchmark so llama was 
doing all this very well until Falcon has come and Falcon has customized this model and we will see exactly what has Falcon done that is very unique and it has taken the leaderboard position of number one and it has been very much in news about this which made me also start doing research on this and giving this video to my uh, community. So now going to the TII homepage as we can see and I told you about uh, the 40 billion parameters and uh, if, uh, 1 trillion token that is all very good more the data more the processing power but the way they have done it is the training time has reduced according to them and it is not it's a mix of models mix of best use cases from the gpt3 75 percent chinchilla is uh, seven uh, the 40 percent of chinchilla and 80 percent of palm g2b so Palm 62B. So three models, they have take, uh, taken the three models, they have taken a sample of these three models to get a good representation of the uh, more large language models of this, these three major uh, entities. And then it has used to train its own uh, unique model that is there. And uh, we will see in more details about this. So as we all know, the training time also has really reduced, the performance has reduced. Uh, the performance, the time uh, uh, to run it has uh, reduced and the accuracy has increased. As you can see now we have uh, the Falcon is consistently it is giving around 70% if I just zoom, zoom in for you guys. So you can see that, uh, the, and also the, as I told you, if the training takes less time, the budget also is a little bit less. So that is the good things about these things and how it was basically developed. Uh, it was a, it is a custom, uh, uh, custom tooling and it leverages unique data. It, uh, right. And it is not the data that uh, OpenAI has. It has its unique data. It, I will talk about the data sources in a separate uh, section. Okay. It, it, so here it is, it extracts quality of web data and uses it for training custom code base independent from the works of NVIDIA, Microface or Hugface or Hugging Face. So it is a very, very unique concept. It is taking out data, uh, high quality content out of the web data. It is controversial, but this is the case. A particular focus was put on data quality at scale. LLM are notoriously sensitive to the quality of their training data. We all know garbage in, garbage out. So the significant care was taken in building a data pipeline that would both scale to tens of thousands of CPU cores to, for the fast processing. As I told you, uh, running these models is uh, not an individual uh, capacity. They require huge GPU uh, powers and huge bills come when we have to run such type of models, which individuals cannot uh, uh, fulfill, they need a backing of the government or organizations, big organizations to do that. Okay, so uh, this is there, uh, there is no uh, deduplication, there is a extensive filtering, so the data is clean. The garbage has been removed and cleaned, that is very, very important. Architects, as I told you, they are using uh, basically uh, four five models and it, re it is actually uh, requires a fifth of the compute that open ai generally requires so it is very quick and very fast and it has a it has more uh, recent data that is there and it actually perf it exceeds right now we can see from hugging face is not giving an exact representation but according to the four brand the benchmark it exceeds uh, the open source models and also it exceeds the state of the art current deep mind google and anthropic models as well so that is a good thing about this. Now we will see more in details about how it was trained. So as I told you, uh, we know about the parameters again, but you can see uh, OpenAI is stored, uh, trained on Azure, but this particular model, it has been trained on AWS. For two months, they were doing this work. Uh, so data scientists from TII and collaboration with top scientists were working on this project. and. Uh, they used AWS for this and 384 GPUs. I don't know, the bill will be in millions uh, to run this particular model and uh, train it. And uh, you can see now the controversial part is that the pre-training data that was there was co collected from public crawls of the web to build the uh, pre-training data set. They have used com uh, dumps from common crawl 
uh, after significant filtering to remove machine generated text and adult content so we all know that uh, they they try to get unique data from different different sources and they try to uh, create a clean data set removing all the garbage adult content ai generated stuff and all that making sure that there is no uh, duplication of the data and more than 5 trillion tokens initially were uh, collected and started the training with that and eventually they reduced it when they were uh, cleaning it more and more to 1 trillion tokens and uh, that is the thing and we all know the data set was extended with a few uh, more sources later on like research papers and also from the social media and uh, we all uh, their performance was validated against open sources benchmark like ai ai, AI harness that uh, we had we just showed helm and big bench and also it passes in flying colors the hugging face benchmarks to get in the top as of now and now what it can be used for and i want to talk more about this it is trying it is going to be used to generate con creative text and solve complex problems it can be used in chatbots customer service operations virtual assistants language translations basically whatever open ai llms are doing but we know open ai llms are charging you right now right now this is not charging which i will talk more about in when i am doing a live scenario broad use case uh, are foreseen by falcon although we are more more excited about application to reduce and automate repetitive work falcon will help emirati company as i am also based out of dubai and it's a very good news for our company which is the data science uh, it can help the emirati companies and startups become more efficient streamlining internal processes and giving back time uh, for employees to focus on what actually matters this is what i also keep they talking in my talks that generative ai is going to take away from our shoulders all the difficult daunting dirty tasks that are there and it is going to uh, give time for us to focus on the things that actually matters the creativity and uh, the mission of our company and our uh, in, uh, individual uh, being set are there and also at an individual uh, level chatbots embedding falcon will be able to assist users in their daily lives so that is a thing that will can also happen and now i am going to deep dive how to use this in collab so we cannot use it in our personal computers because the, it requires a lot of gpus to even run this so first caveat is uh, we need to uh, the, this particular uh, notebook i am going to share with you mind it uh, i did lot of practice for this and uh, i have the code ready which i'm going to uh, share it in my uh, github repository and in the link that is there because you need to uh, have a collab notebook and i, I teach all my uh, programs in collab because it is a very uh, you can say a useful source for doing the programming uh, and you don't need to have so much dependencies like in, uh, you, to install the uh, the uh dependencies in your uh jupyter notebook in your system and this has lot of gpus that is there in the free version there is you can see the space that is here it is around 60 gb uh, space is uh, given for us in the free version and uh, i installed the prerequisites that are transformers ei knobs accelerate and uh, xformers basically these are dependencies to help us run the code and uh, make our uh, processing faster and the different different uh, functionalities which uh, i will talk in my later uh, chapters uh, and uh, so the installation actually took time i tried to run uh, the falcon uh, the in the if i go to this particular scenario uh, the falcon uh, leaderboard the Fa falcon 40 uh, billion uh, this the model that is in number 1 40 billion tokens it requires a lot of space more than 200 gb of space uh, gpu uh, uh, hard disk space in your uh, collab notebook to run this and i have a free version which has around 70 mb if you want to run the 40 billion instruct you can use the same code and uh, what you can do is i uh, i will talk about this is this particular code let me just delete all this because 
yeah in the place of a model is equal to for 7b you have to put model is 40b i tried that but my space got uh, uh, there was a disk space issue and i don't want to take a premium membership of this just to uh, do this video but in the later on i'm going to take it when i'm building live projects for my clients and for my learning as well for the 40 billion but 7 billion also is a model is smaller a model but it is also trained in the same methodology with a little bit less data but we know 7 billion parameters which is a very very big parameter for them to uh, train the model and the accuracy is much more more recent i'm going to show you the use case so there are four uh, dependencies that i showed you uh, then from transformers we import auto tokenizers and uh, auto model for casual llm this is very important then we need uh, transformers we need torch we put the model name that is there then we put about the we put the tokenizer the tokenizer is the conversion of the text to numbers for us uh, for the large language models to do the nearest neighbor principle and all those things which i have talked in my previous videos a lot they're using a pipeline here where they have they are using the text generation the model is already in falcon 7b tokenizer they are using they are using uh, the torch torch d type they are using this i will talk more about the details but the thing is i will try to uh, these are the basic setup of every code that is there uh, and uh, device ma ma map we are using as an auto so now this is the these are the things that we are doing we are setting up all the default parameters we are running this this, this takes around 10 minutes to run i just ran it and i kept you can see what is happening here uh, uh, you can see it is the downloading uh, all the uh, dependencies and you can see here it is uh, approximately 7b model also downloads around it requires around 30 to 40 gb of your space to download it and run it you, as you can see these all these additions that are there and you can see the model uh, all the updates and some warnings are also happening all the llms that are uh, required all the dependencies are required are stored and these are the default parameters i have not touched anything here i am just using this code uh, that is uh, a default code to run any models if i want to run uh, 40b i'll just put 40b here and i'm going to run this this is going to take 10 minutes but i am now i am going to uh the go to the main code where after running the model how we are going to use it so we are how we are going to use the sequence and i can give you a very a good use case scenario because and about the quality of the data from my experience so this is the uh, this particular uh, thing i will uh, write more about my decoding data science academy and who is mohammad arshad the data scientist who is mohammad arshad comma data scientist and uh, we are going to first see this particular thing in uh, we are going to see this particular thing first in uh, chat gpt if we use chat gpt what had happened okay so uh, let me just copy this uh, write more about the first thing is G chat gpt was trained till to 2021 and let me see how what is the output of this in chat gpt and then i will try to compare it with our uh yes this is this this is uh, giving you uh information so uh, what i asked is write more about decoding data science academy and who is Muhammad Arshad. So decoding data science is basically the word they are taking. They are taking from a hallucinating it from the web and telling that they're specializing in teaching and training individual and field of data science. This text is nowhere written in my website, anything specific like this. Uh, right, but it is hallucinating. Is a data scientist who is associated with decoding data science. I am the co-founder of this. Uh, it is there on the web. It is there on all on, on, on my page that you can see, uh, decodingdatascience.com. This is very important for you to understand the accuracy of Falcon B model. So when I go to, uh, this is my website. When I go to about me, data, uh, okay, it is about me. It is mentioning that I am the co-founder of this particular college, even in LinkedIn, even in the other places. It is mentioned about me that I am the co-founder of, of this particular company. 
and uh, in google also if you search this uh, who is the uh, okay who is mohammad arshad data scientist you need to put data scientist because mohammad is a very mohammad arshad is a very common word in this part of the world so you can see it is picking up from linkedin itself co-founder decoding data science and when i do uh, who's, uh, so this is the thing that generally uh, about me everywhere this particular thing is coming up and i am the co-founder of decoding data science and this is what i was expecting uh, chat gpt to uh, give me because this company is almost at the time that it was there this data should have picked up from there but it is hallucinating associated with decoding data science these all this information is no, no i have not put it they are just uh, using the word data science decoding uh, and uh, giving us an output from the web using the sequence model that is there now the same thing in uh, when i went to collab i did, wrote the same thing now how will i explain this code to you okay so first is the uh, sequence right the first line of uh, creating a, a pipeline for generating text sequence right write more about mohammad arshad ahmed it takes in a string input uh, which is the case here the other parameters set the maximum length of the generated sequence to 200 words allow the sampling of the different text options that are there limit the number of options to consider to the top 10 based on their likelihood and also they specify that only one sequence should be returned only one option should be returned and not multiple and set the end of the token the end of the sequence end of the sequence ident the token identifier to the one provided by the tokenizer being used so we are telling the end, end of eos is basically end of sequence identifier to one provided by the token tokenizer being used so the tokenizer is we are telling it uh, we are giving that particular instruction the next line what it does it starts a loop that will iterate over each generated sequence and inside the loop inside the loop what happens a generated text of each sequence is printed using the print function it uses a uh, formatted string you know f is formatted string which i have talked in my python python basic courses a lot and it uh, uses a formatted string to include the generated text which is uh, basically uh, accessed using the sequence generated text using the sequence generation so this somebody uses a large language model to generate text sequence based on a given input string and then prints out the generated text for every sequence and now you can see how accurate uh, this particular thing and i was basically i gen don't generally do videos for a uh, large language model testing but this has actually made me uh, focus on this Uh, and share it how accurate it is because i cannot take any topic and take a talk about that with what is very close to me personally i can talk about it so decoding data science academy it is a community so these are the words that i have actually used what is my main purpose is i am building a community of ai in uh, for emiratis and for the uh, uae and the mina region right so that is my main purpose which is coming out using this Uh, falcon llm which is really amazed and i'm telling you the power of this is humongous and this is by the way this is a 7 billion parameter suppose in 40 billion it will give me much much more details of that so uh, decoding data science is a community that shares insights on data science and machine learning the academy is a place where i have been teaching and sharing data science and machine learning for many years i believe that we live in an era of information and all these things they have written about this and which i have talked a lot about this and who is mohammad and who is mohammad arshad having this that particular thing he is the co-founder and chief data scientist that has, these are the words that i have been i have used and in my guest articles also when people introduce me they tell me like this he is the co-founder of uh, the decoding data science and he is a chief data scientist and is also coming from linkedin 
and i have a decade of experience in so i have you know 16 years so they are also putting that and these words are actually coming from some real web crawling data which is good for me okay and these are the things that are really really amazing that is uh, wanted to share with you